Welcome to the Lumension Intelligent Whitelisting Video Vignette Series, in which we discuss how to use specific features and capabilities of the Lumension Intelligent Whitelisting solution to improve the security of endpoints in your organization's network. Hello, my name is Chris Merritt, and in this episode I'm joined by David Murray from Product Management to discuss how you can better protect your endpoints using intelligent whitelisting. Application whitelisting is becoming a more important part of any defense in-depth security strategy. However, implementing it on endpoints means having either a newly imaged box or a way to clean up an old or dirty box, which adds cost and burden to endpoint management. Organizations need to add new layers of endpoint defense, but do not want to add the complexity, cost, or burden often associated with this. So, David, how does one roll out application whitelisting if the endpoints have malware on them? Chris, I'm going to assume that we're starting with an existing environment. We've got a network of endpoints that are in use. I'll also assume that uh, we've got a customer with a traditional security model. They're patching their endpoints to eliminate known vulnerabilities, and they're relying on antivirus as the primary defense against malware. So at this point, they may have experienced a number of virus outbreaks, and after incurring the cost associated with cleaning that up, they're probably considering application whitelisting as part of their security solution. So, so while in a traditional security model, antivirus is the primary defense against malware, when you introduce application control, antivirus has somewhat of a different role. Uh, instead of being the primary defense, the role that antivirus performs is to clean up any dormant malware on your endpoints, for example, prior to locking them down with application control and also to scan files when you're making changes on locked down endpoints. So rather than using antivirus by itself, what you're now doing is combining antivirus and application control together to provide defense in depth. So we want to go ahead and introduce application control into an existing environment. The first thing we're going to need to do is to go and uh, scan that endpoint for malware and uh, remove any uh, malware that might be lurking on that endpoint. I'm going to run a fairly intensive scan. I could go ahead and run this scan immediately, but it would probably be better to do this in the evening so it doesn't impact on user performance. When that's completed, these endpoints will be in a clean state and I can go ahead and introduce application control. One of the traditional challenges you face with application control is that you need to generate a whitelist, a gold image, and then roll this out to all the endpoints. That can be challenging when it's an existing environment with different users using different applications. You have lots of variation and it's very difficult to determine what applications users really need to have. If you simply apply a whitelist to every endpoint, you might have missed something and you end up with users complaining that they can't run certain applications, can't do their job and so on. That's a very real problem and can be an administrative nightmare. So the way we solve this is via something called Easy Lockdown. So we've just cleaned the endpoints of malware. And we simply lock down each endpoint and add any applications on that endpoint to a whitelist which is unique to that endpoint. As the endpoints are locked down, a full inventory of files is taken and I can subsequently go into my application library on the server. And if there are any applications that I don't want to allow to run in my environment, I can simply add these to a denied applications policy and apply that to all the endpoints. I can also make changes to the lockdown endpoints via a number of trusted change mechanisms. I'm not going to cover these here, but do go and review the application control vignettes for more information on how to introduce changes. So I hope that helps you understand how we use antivirus and application control together and provide an effective security solution with faster time to protection and also a lower administrative burden. So, David, when we're talking about application whitelisting, we're not really saying that it's a substitute for AV, but a complement to it, right? That's right, Chris. What we were doing uh, is we're adding tools to your overall security toolkit. We're not taking away antivirus. This solution changes the security paradigm by combining application control with antivirus to provide defense in depth and results in a more effective security solution. Every time malware gets onto a system, it costs money, even if it's just in terms of help desk calls. Uh, obviously, if you end up losing data, it's a much bigger deal. Uh, and the combination of application control with antivirus significantly reduces the likelihood of that occurring. Great. Thanks, David. I hope you enjoyed this short video on how the Lumension Intelligent Whitelisting Solution will help you improve security, increase productivity, and reduce total cost of ownership. 
For more information, please visit the Intelligent Whitelisting page on our website, where you can get free premium security tools to assess your network today, or sign up for a free trial version. Thank you.